So, pardon the haggard look today. I'm, I'm feeling under the weather with a little bit of an intestinal bug. So that means no shop time, no, no serious, uh, serious project time. And I tried to do some 3D printing. I, did, I designed something up and had an absolute utter failure. So I decided to spend some time doing something that I couldn't screw up, maybe, hopefully. Um, we, uh, we have a lot of wine corks in our life, and that's, that's for any number of reasons. Um, a, we drink a lot of wine, um, but we also have friends over, lots of, lots of barbecues in the summertime, dinners, that sort of thing. Uh, we, we dabbled a little bit with the importation of some French wine uh, directly from France. So th there's, there's a lot of wine consumed here, and the byproduct of that is we have a lot of corks. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you'll notice that we, my wife and I both tend to, tend to build presents or make presents for people. And what I like to do is, is throughout the year, um, either in the forge or in the shop or on a sick day, uh, start, start, you know, putting some things together, like making some things for, for folks. That way, by birthdays and Christmas and that sort of thing, we're good to go. I have some really thoughtful, I think, gifts that, that are made by hand. Um, what, what I'm gonna show you today are trivets. And trivets made of wine corks. Now, um, this, these are super simple to do if you have enough corks. Now, make sure that all your corks are the same size. And, and I'll go through that a, a little bit uh, later on. You can get these, these uh, hose clamps at um, Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store. I really like the seven and a halfs. Um, now I've done, I've done a number of them with the five and a halfs and those turned out really well, uh, especially for like tea kettles and stuff, but for, for hot dishes and uh, just regular trivets, I like the seven and a half. Um, side note about hot dishes, don't put something like a cast iron uh, pan directly from the oven onto a trivet because it does this. It burns it. <laughs> um, you know, just uh, not not hot cast iron, but but you can put hot pans, hot stuff, um, things that you don't want on your grandmother's uh, Irish crochet doily sitting on your table. Um, and you can make them out. Uh, these are these are of course wine corks. These are champagne corks uh, with a couple wine corks in there. Um, all you really have to do is, after you build them, get it good and tight, uh, and then soak it in, in water just a little bit, and whoever you give it to as, as a gift, just tell them to, to soak it every now and then, just to expand them so they don't dry out, and these will last, I don't know, for, I've had this one I did back in 2005, so it's 2000 and, sorry, 2006, and it's 2019 now, so it'll last a while even when your wife does burn it. Alright so let me take you through the steps. Wine corks come in all shapes, all sizes, all lengths, seemingly without rhyme or reason. I even have corks from the same chateau, same year, but they're different sizes. Whether it's champagne or blanquette or method de champagne, the bubbly stuff um, has corks that are even of greater range. This is what happens when a taller cork gets put in with some of the smaller ones. It just stands up and makes a trivet uneven. So my advice is to put all the corks together and just kind of show them side by side so it's really easy to grab one and, and think it's small or think it's large. Um, it's better if it's you know side by side with the others. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to build a gauge, just roughly the same size. One of the first things that you're going to want to do is make sure that you fully release the size of your ring. So if you see right there, the tail coming out of it, you want to make sure that's in as far as you can get it without, without disengaging the thread. So take a, a screwdriver, flathead, or Phillips, and back that out as, as much as possible. Because what you don't want to have happen is what you see here, and starting out with that out a little bit, and then when you go to tighten it, it's just too much. And it, it's better if you start out with a, a fully expanded hoop. 
my advice is to start from the outside in. So build your circle first and vary your wine stain and your years uh, so that it's aesthetically pleasing. Uh, what you're going to want to do is after you get it all together, start on the inside and kind of see what's loose. Um, and you're going to want to put some additional corks in. Use a rubber mallet. I use a rawhide mallet. You'll be shocked that once it's filled, how many extra corks you can pound in. And then after you get all your corks in and everything's nice and tight, then go ahead and tighten up the, uh, the ring with a screwdriver and, or a wrench. And here's a look at the final product. All right, so in addition to using the, uh, the regular hose clamp, um, I'm also going to do one with a whiskey barrel hoop. Um, and this is going to be a really big one, and this is kind of a centerpiece sort of thing. Now, if you notice, it, the edges are sloped, and you'll see it more in the video as I do it. But what you're going to want to do is uh, ring this in the, uh, the champagne corks uh, on the outside, and then infill with either champagne corks or with wine corks. I would say wine corks, but uh, I'll, I'll go through that now. Very similar to the wine cork trivet. Um, go ahead and start the outside uh, with the champagne corks and then go ahead and fill the inside again bearing whether it has the wine stain on one side or not and then the years to make it nice. I also varied the the champagne corks whether where they were from, what their stamp was, that sort of thing so that way they weren't all the same thing on, on one side or the other. Getting the whiskey ring trivet tight was a lot trickier than just the smaller wine cork one. Part of it is, I think, because of size. It's sort of like magician's ropes. The more rope you have, the easier it is to get untied. And, and with more size, it, it's harder to get it tight. And I counted, I put um, 18 corks in after it was all quote-unquote tight. Um, it, it took a little bit. And uh, I, I'm still, I think, going to have to add to uh, here and there. Um, but it, it was worth it, I, I think. It, as you can see from the finished product, it was it, it turned out really, really nice. And I think it will be nice in the center of a table. And there, there's two of the other trivets that I went ahead and did today as well.